In the previous videos we have actually seen what the Simple Machine Forum is and we have briefly looked at some of its features. So in this video tutorial we'll go ahead and we will download and install Simple Machines Forum. To do so we are going to need three things. First of all we need the files which we are going to download from this webpage, from the Simple Machines Forum webpage. And basically before you actually go and download these files you should already have a web page so you should have registered your web page with the hosting company and the files we are going to download here from this web page will need to actually be uploaded onto your server and basically there is quite a few softwares that you can use but we are going to use a program that's actually called the FileZilla it's quite easy to use and we'll see how to do that alright so first of all let's go ahead and let's download the files from the main page of the Simple Machines forum the landing page you'll find the download button here so once you click on it this will actually bring you to a next page and here you can actually see that we are downloading the 2.0.8 Simple Machines Forum version and you'll find the zip file here. So we are after the zip file, we don't want these other two files, basically this is for other operating systems and we are only interested for the zip file. Of course you can actually have a look at some latest upgrades and download previous versions as well if you really want to. But I just want to download the zip file so I'll click on it and shortly it should actually start downloading the files. I'll click on save and click on OK. And you'll actually see here that the people from the Simple Machines forum are actually thanking you for downloading their files. Alright, so once the files have been downloaded, we'll go ahead and we'll actually unzip them. So this is all the files that are contained within the zip file. So there's a couple of folders and a few other PHP files as well. Alright, so we've done the downloading of the files. Now let's go ahead and actually download the FileZilla. This is the main page of the FileZilla and you can actually find it by just googling for it or you can actually type in FileZilla project.org and that will actually bring you to this page. Now you can find the download button here and once you click on it, it should actually start downloading the FileZilla. Now make sure that you're actually using the appropriate Windows version as this will not work on the um, Windows XP and previous versions of uh, Windows operating system. So if you are using something like Windows XP, make sure that you find appropriate version for your for your operating system. So let's go ahead and download FileZilla as well. Alright, downloading FileZilla should be really straightforward. We'll click on save file and then once the file has been downloaded, we'll actually go ahead and install FileZilla. Alright, so the third thing that we need to have is the actual web page and you can actually go ahead and purchase a web host from web hosting service, a web, a web hosting a company, a domain and hosting packages. But for this purpose, I have actually gone and registered for a free version. So this is a triple zero webhost.com. If you are just trying to set up a small page that you don't want to pay any money, this is a free hosting service. And once you actually register, you will be presented with a cPanel like this. Here you will find some information, but what we are currently looking for is something that's called MySQL. So that's this button here. Now to make the Simple Machine Forum work, you need to have a database. So before you actually upload any of the files onto the server, you will need to create a database. So to do so, you will have to go to the cPanel, so whichever company, web hosting company you are using, they should provide you with some cPanel and find the MySQL. Once you click on it, this will actually present you with all uh, MySQL databases and if you do not have any like, like, uh, like me, you'll actually go ahead and create one. So I'm gonna call my database simply forum. I'm going to use the username as admin and I'll set up a password. 
Now make sure that you have a look at what you are actually typing in here as this information is very important when we are actually setting up and installing the Simple Machines forum. First of all make sure that you take a note of the MySQL host. So in this case this is my MySQL host and what I'll do is actually I'll copy this and I will open a notepad and I'll just paste it here and also what's important is the username and the database name so I'll copy that as well so this is important if you do not have this you will not be able to actually go ahead and set up the required details when we are going to install the simple machines form onto the web page so once you have filled all this in we can go and create a database and in this case triple uh, zero webhosting.com is actually giving me all that information here as a summary as well so I'll go ahead and I'll copy that as well okay so let's quickly recap what we have done we have actually created a database inside our uh, web page on the server we have also downloaded the all required simple machine form files from their web page and we have downloaded the ftp software the filezilla client software and we are going to open up filezilla now and see how we can actually go ahead and upload all the files but before that let's go back and actually have a look at all the ftp information that we need to actually log onto the server once again depending on what kind of cpanel your uh, provider gives you you can easily go to control panel like i'm going to do here or you can find your way around it and what we are actually after is something that's called ftp ftp details so click on ftp details and those are the ftp details that you need to have to log onto the server all right, so we'll start up FileZilla, and this is what FileZilla looks like. Up here, we'll have to actually enter the information I just mentioned, and on the left-hand side, you'll find um, all your files. So this is where all your files are located. This is the computer side, the local site, actually, uh, of this program. So all your files are located here. And once we connect to remote site, all the files will be created and shown here. So what we need to do is actually find our files on the left hand side on the local side and just transfer them to the remote side okay so let's go ahead and first of all connect so we need to enter the host information my host information is this here I'll copy it and paste it then I'll have to enter the username copy it and paste it and the password okay once I've done all that there's a quick connect button that I should click and this should actually go through and connect me to the uh, web server and you can actually see all the events happening right here all right so now we have actually connected to the server where I'll web page is located and you can see that currently I have only one folder that's actually called public HTML and a file that I currently do not even need so what I'll do is actually I'll go into the public HTML and this is where I will be uploading all of my files you can see that there is the index PHP so this is basically the first page of your web page now I can go ahead here on the local side and look for my files or since I've already got them open I can just go back here I can select all and what I'll do is I'll simply drag and drop it into this box here okay so I've opened up the files and I've dragged and dropped them here if you do get a message like this that's saying that the target file already exists make sure you click on the overwrite and you actually hit on OK now this is when you're actually creating your um, forum on a blank empty uh, web page so we can actually go ahead and we can replace some of the files so for example we can replace the index.php but if you already have a web page that does have a uh, index.php in it 
uh, be, uh, the index.php file in it, make sure that you do not replace this as this will actually go and replace your main page. Now that's something that you wouldn't want to do of course, but if but if you are in a case like this, when you're actually creating everything from the scratch, you're creating a new forum, you're creating a new site, you can go ahead and actually hit on replace or overwrite. Okay, now this is gonna take some time to actually upload all the files, so um, what I'll do is actually you can see all the events happening here and you can actually go to this tab here and see all the files that have actually transferred successfully onto the onto the web page's server. So let all that finish and what, once that is finished we'll go ahead and we'll enter some database information that we have saved in a um, notepad file like this and we'll actually go and install the uh, simple machine forum onto the web page.